Hi, uh, I'm Jim and I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and I just had my second uh, cataract surgery performed on my right eye two days ago and I'm flying back to Pittsburgh um, tomorrow. Um, uh, back in 1985 I had had radial keratotomy done twice in each eye so I had 16 incisions in each eye and was never really happy with the results but over the years my vision continued to deteriorate and doctors told me that they could no longer repair my vision with glasses that I had cataracts uh, initially I thought well gee cataracts will mean new lenses and perfect vision and I found I began looking for an optometrist and nobody wanted to touch me they politely told me to get lost and the more research I did and the more I learned that get lost meant was the only protocol available to you is a corneal transplant. Um, as I googled uh, post RK uh, cataract surgery, uh, that's how I found Dr. Galani's website. And um, I was a little skeptical at first, but when I read his copy on his website and, and watched his videos, Everything that, that he was saying rang true to my experience. I did find one doctor in Pittsburgh brave enough to try to get my cataracts out, but he was very pessimistic with the kind of vision that I would have after the cataracts were gone. Um, and I've seen so many testimonials and talked to so many other patients here during my visit, and I've just come to consider most doctors deliver a product that I call standardized mediocrity. Um, Dr. Galani is one of the most amazing people I ever met. Uh, the, only, the only other person I can think of that, that Dr. Galani reminds me of is the original Cassius Clay who used to exclaim, I am the greatest. Well, Cassius Clay was the greatest and Dr. Galani is in that, in that class. He is for real. And you, you worry when you see his website, is this guy some kind of a charlatan? He is not. He is, he is just passionate about what he does. He almost sometimes he's arrogant and temperamental because he's just so, so passionate about his calling. And, and, and he is raising the bar on what is possible for for lost causes. He specializes in lost causes. He does regular things for regular folk too, but it is the it is the patients that other doctors have kicked to the curb that he takes special interest in and fulfills their their wishes, their dreams, their aspirations with regard to their vision. Hi, I'm Jim. This is John. I'm John. And, um, we are just finished our second uh, um, cataract surgery on our eyes so we're each heading home today um, I had RK twice in each eye as I believe John did uh, years ago in the 80s and um, uh, our vision was never quite right and it began to deteriorate badly and my optometrist told me that I had cataracts and that uh, they could not refract me into good vision anymore with glasses and um, I just assumed oh boy I'm gonna get a new lens I'm gonna have great vision and I find out that really there's nothing they can do for a post RK patient with cataracts except do a corneal transplant and um, in go doing some googling uh, of the repair of RK damage I found Dr. Galani and um, I was skeptical but his copy in his videos rang true to me. He was talking about experience problems that I was having and doctors seem to nowadays offer a standardized level of mediocrity that I knew I wouldn't be satisfied with. I had a, a experience that was remarkably parallel uh, to Jim's, although corneal transplant was not mentioned in my, my case. But I saw the surgeon who had done the uh, RK, uh, no, the uh, PRK on my left eye. I had had RK in both eyes, 16 cuts, and then PRK afterwards. And I had three PRKs in my left eye, which uh, gave me pretty good vision, I guess. 
And I consulted him when I knew I had cataracts, and uh, uh, I was surprised. His reaction was, oh, well, you've, you, you already had RK, and so what we do for you is dual monovision. Completely unlike, Don, uh, this is a very honorable, well-respected doctor, but completely unlike Dr. Guliani, he put me in a box. And uh, I, I was taken aback by that, the idea that you had RK, therefore this is what we will do to you. Dr. Gilani's uh, uh, approach is completely different from that. It's, you see through your eyes, my goal, speaking as Dr. Gilani, is to give you the best vision possible, and there are no limits on what we might think is the best thing to do. That was really gratifying to me. Frankly, I was hoping that I would be a candidate for um, uh, focusable lenses. In my case, Dr. Gulani told me that it was not just an arbitrary decision. He told me in scientific terms why that could not be. But I'll tell you what, I will take the vision that I have now, my left eye now almost a year post-op, my right eye now 46 hours, 48 hours post-op. I'll take this and reading glasses any time over the vision that I had at any time in my life prior to this.